Okay, here we're going to do some algebraic long division. So the question says find the quotient, so find what's left, um, obtained in dividing x cubed plus 4x squared minus, four, minus 2x minus 5 by x plus 1. So here we're going to set up a, um, a long division, so a bus stop method. So we have x plus 1. And then inside here, we're going to have our x cubed plus 4x squared minus 2x minus 5. So we're going to say how many times is x going to x cubed? Um, what's x cubed divided by x? So that should give us an x squared. And then we're going to get this x squared and we're going to multiply it by both of these terms. So x squared times x, that's x cubed, that's what we wanted. And then x squared times 1 is just x squared. Now we're going to do a take away. So we're going to take away um, x cubed from x cubed, which is absolutely nothing. It's gone. 4x squared take away 1x squared. That's going to be 3x squared. And then I'm going to bring down the rest of it. So we're going to bring down what's left. So this is what we've got left now. I'm going to divide by this. So 3x squared divided by x, that's going to be 3x. So 3x goes up here. And then we're going to follow the same steps again. So we're going to multiply the 3x by both of these terms. 3x times x, that's 3x squared. That's how we put 3x there. And 3x times 1, that's 3x. We're going to do another takeaway. This is going to go 3x squared, takeaway 3x squared is nothing. And I've got minus, so a negative 2x. And then we're taking away another 3x. It's negative 5x. And we've still got the, we're going to bring down the, the last one. So we've still got this negative 5 on the end, this minus 5. And one more time, um, what's minus 5x divided by x? That's just minus 5. So minus 5 times x, so we have times again, times by both of them, minus 5x. Minus 5 times the 1 is minus 5. We're going to do our final takeaway, and there's going to be nothing left. So, absolutely nothing left, which is great, there's no remainder. So the quotient that we've got is this. So we've got x squared plus 3x minus 5. Okay, here's another question. So we've got find the quotient obtained in dividing x cubed plus 7x squared minus 36 by x plus 3. Now we're going to have to be careful with this one because it's got no x term. So what we're going to do is in place of the x term, we're going to put zero x's. We can't have any of the terms missing out. So if there was no x squared term, we'd have to replace um, that with zero x squared. We couldn't have, um, you can't squash it together and leave out one of the, um, one of the terms. So there's going to have to be an x cubed, an x squared, an x, and a normal number. So it has to follow down in order. We can't have one missing. Okay, first step again. So it's the same steps over and over again. So it's x cubed divided by x, which should give you an x squared. And then we multiply the x squared by both of these terms. So x squared times x is x cubed x squared times 3, 3x three squared, and then we take away. x cubed take away x cubed is nothing. Uh, 7x squared take away 3x squared, that gives us 4x squared. So that's our take away, and now we bring down the next terms, and repeat. So, 4x squared divided by x, that's 4x. 
and then we multiply this by both of these terms. 4x times x is 4x squared. 4x times 3 is 12x. Take away. 4x squared take away 4x squared is nothing. No x's take away 12x's. That would be going to negatives. So minus 12x and bring down the next term. And one more time. What's minus 12x divided by x? It's just minus 12. And then we multiply this by both of these terms. So we've got minus 12x minus 36 takes away to give us zero and we are done. So this time the quotient obtained is x squared plus 4x minus 12. Okay, so this question's different. It says factorize fully. So factorize means put into brackets. So we're going to have to put this uh, cubic function into, into brackets. But um, we haven't been given any of the factors to start with. So we can't use algebraic long division yet because we don't know a factor. So we can't divide it um, by anything. So what we're going to have to do first is use the factor theorem. So we're going to have to find what makes this zero. What do I substitute in for x to give me an answer of zero? So if I try and substitute in 1, I'll see what I get out. So I've got 1 cubed plus 2 times 1 squared minus 5 ones minus 6. So that'll give me 1 plus 2 minus 5 minus 6 which is 3 minus 11, which is minus 8. So x minus 1 isn't a factor because f of 1 doesn't equal 0. So I'll look for something else. I could try, well, I could try negative 1. So let's give the minus 1 a go. So that would be negative 1 cubed plus 2 lots of negative 1 squared minus 5 negative 1s minus 6. So that's negative 1 plus 2 plus 5 minus 6 and that will give me 0. Um, negative 1 plus 2 is 1 plus 5 is 6 minus 6 that gives me 0. So f of minus 1 equals 0 so that means x plus 1 is a factor. So I could keep looking for factors. Um, that would be one way of factorizing it fully. Um, but we're going to use algebraic long division. So now we know that x plus 1 is a factor. We're going to divide the whole function by x plus 1 and see what's left. So we're going to write it out like this. And then we'll see x cubed divided by x, that's x squared, multiply both the terms by x squared. x cubed plus x squared. And we're going to take away. So that gives me um, no x cubes, that cancels out. 2x squared take away 1x squared, that's x squared. I'm going to bring down the other terms. And then we're going to repeat. So x squared divided by x, that's x. Um, and then multiply. So x times x is x squared. x times 1 is 1x. Take away again. So I've got x squared take away x squared is 0. Negative 5x minus another x. So minus 6x. And bring down the next term, minus 6. So how many times, so what's minus 6x divided by x? That's minus 6. And we'll multiply 1 last time. Minus 6x, minus 6. And that takes away to give me the 0. So that gives me two brackets now. I know x plus 1 is a factor. 
and I've also got x squared plus x minus 6. So it's factorized. It's not yet factorized fully because I can turn the second bracket here into two separate brackets. So x in both. I want to multiply to make a plus 6, add to make a 1. So it's Sorry, multiply to make a minus 6, add to make a 1. So that will be um, plus 3, take away 2. So now it's factorized fully. So I've got it in three brackets. So now my f of x is equal to this. That's factorized fully. Okay, another example of the same thing. So... First thing we're going to do, we're going to look for a factor using the factor theorem. So I'm going to try 1 first. I can look at the factors of the number on the end and use it as a guide as to what to look for. So I've, I've got a 2 on the end here. So it's going to be 1 or 2. So I've got my negative 1, positive 1, negative 2, positive 2. And they're going to be the first things I'll try. So I'm going to try... A positive one here, one cubed plus two times one squared minus one minus two. So that gives me one plus two minus one minus two, which is zero. So first time we've got it. So f of minus f of one gives me zero. So x minus one is my factor. It's a factor. Going to do the algebraic long division now. So I'm going to put x minus 1 on the outside. I've got x cubed plus 2x squared minus x minus 2. And then we're going to follow the same steps again. So x cubed divided by x is x squared times down. Take away. Um, 2 minus minus 1, that's 3, and bring down the next numbers. And again, so 3x squared divided by x, 3x, multiply down, and take away. Minus 1, minus, minus, 3. So that's minus 1 plus 3, so it's 2. 2x divided by x is 2. Multiply down and take away. So that gives me the two brackets of x minus 1 and x squared plus 3x plus 2. I'm going to put this second bracket into two brackets. It's going to be plus 2, plus 1. Okay, here's a couple of questions for you to have a go at. So pause the video, give them a go. Okay, first step, we have to find a factor. So I can tell by looking at it that positive 1 is not going to work. So we'll try negative 1. That's negative 1 plus 8 minus 17 plus 10, which gives me 0. So I know that x plus 1 is a factor. So we're going to do the algebraic long division. So x cubed divided by x is x squared, multiply down, and take away. So 7x squared, bring down the rest, and repeat again. 
So 7x squared divided by x is 7x. Multiply down. And take away. Give me 10x bring down. 10x divided by x is 10. Multiply down. And take away. So we've got x plus 1 and x squared plus 7x plus 10. So this goes into two brackets again. We've got plus 2 and plus 5. So that's fully factorised. Same again on the other side. We're going to have to find a factor first. So we're going to try 1. 1 cubed minus 13 ones plus 12, that equals 0. So x minus 1 is a factor. So that's x minus 1, x cubed. Now we've got no x squared term, so we have to put a 0 x squared term in, just as a placeholder. Now we follow the same steps again. So x cubed divided by x, that's x squared, multiply down and take away. Bring down the next numbers, the next terms. And follow the same steps again. So x squared divided by x is just x. Multiply down. And take away. Negative 12x divided by x is negative 12. Multiply down. and take away. So that gives me, we've got x minus 1, x squared plus x minus 12. Then I'm going to factorise the second bracket again. That's going to give me plus 4 and minus 3. So there we go. That's our algebraic long division.